Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some videos from the anti-diet hashtag on TikTok. Diets that don't work from a dietitian. Oh, wow. This must be valid. Let's talk about diets that don't work. Keto was made for epileptic children. Certain indigenous peoples in certain places around the world were doing a ketogenic diet long before doctors were trying to find a cure for epileptic children, or rather a treatment for epileptic children. And even if it did start as a treatment for epileptic children, does that mean it has no legitimacy as a diet? Are, are people dying from doing keto? Last I checked, they're doing quite well. People lose a lot of weight on it and go on to live very healthy lives. Intermittent fasting is just a fun way of saying I'm starving myself. Bruh. Not eating for 16 hours in one day could hardly be considered starving, madam. Making categorically false statements like that takes away from the legitimacy of anything that you were trying to say. If you were going to say something legitimate at some point in this video, there is little chance that anybody with a brain is going to be listening by the time you get past the first two bits of misinformation. Juice cleanses are just a really expensive way to drink your fruit instead of eat it. Okay, I don't give a crap about juice cleanses. They're stupid, so yeah, that's dumb. Any MLM 30-day detox bullshit is just a way to shit your pants and spend a lot of money. Agreed. Although, like I said, the first two things you said were moronic. So, like, you're lucky that I'm still here to listen to the rest of this. Noom is basically my fitness pal, but you're just paying more for it, and they pretend to have a psychological component, but really, it's just health coaches that have no background on nutrition. Well, who cares? I don't care. You don't need any sort of guidance, okay? Google is free. Calorie restriction, or just restricting food in general, works until you become really fucking hungry and end up eating everything in sight and develop a horrible relationship with food. Calorie restricting works until it doesn't work and you have to go completely insane and eat a bunch of garbage food is what you're saying. People do a lot of projecting in these videos, right? Although she doesn't look like she goes insane and eats a bunch of garbage food. Let me guess, thin person who's encouraging fat people to be fat. You're selling products, aren't you? We'll get to the bottom of that by the end of this. Whole30 is just a fancy way of restricting yourself for 30 days and then binging out of control on day 31. Yeah, if you have no self-control. I don't know what that thing is, but so far everything you've mentioned is dumb except for keto and intermittent fasting. Those are both actual lifestyle choices. So if you want advice from a registered dietitian, dieting literally doesn't work. Okay, so either way, um, whatever dieting degree or certification that you have, like, uh, you may as well throw that in the garbage because you just said a bunch of stupid nonsense. I agree with a couple of the things you said about, you know, obvious stuff that is obviously nonsense, like juice detoxes and MLM cleanses. You know, it's a real hot take that you're telling us that the MLM cleanse is, is not necessarily uh, the best way to lose weight. Real hot take, dude. And two thirds of dieters will gain more weight than they originally lose. That's a crock of shit. And even if it were true, what does that mean? I guess you'll, you better be in that one third that make it then, huh? You're best off creating a healthy relationship with food and learning how to trust your body again. Ah, it says intuitive eating teaches you how to trust and care for your body again. Follow along for more tips. All right, so you're going to teach us how to intuitively eat for free? Oh, wait, what's that? You want to charge money for this service? Oh, I am shocked. You want my money? Madam, I thought you were trying to help me. And here I come to find out that you just want my money? Well, it kind of invalidates everything that you just said. How am I to know that you're not just being a capitalist that wants to keep me fat so I have to keep coming to you for nonsense to lose weight that doesn't work? Intuitive eating. Trust your gut, right? Isn't that what got you here? All right, and here's the charlatan's website. Find Food Freedom. The non-diet dietitians. Ah, so there's a whole group of you. Apply for Mastermind. Early bird enrollment ends June 20th. New here, grab our free training. Join our monthly membership. 20% off ritual products. Ritual? What are you, fucking practicing Wicca as well? Join our free Facebook community. Find Food Freedom Podcast. What the actual fork podcast? Oh, that's so quirky. Our blog. Oh my goodness, look at this post right here. 
She looks so happy and fancy free. If I listen to her, I can be the same. Do you have guilt and shame associated with food? Do you feel out of control around food? Are you constantly preoccupied by thoughts about calories, macros, portions, and food rules? Uh, these are conflicting things. Do you feel like there's a constant voice in your head telling you what you should and shouldn't eat? No. The voice tells me that I'm not good enough and to make others pay. Do you want to learn how to apply the intuitive eating principles? Are you ready to stop obsessing about food slash body image and enjoy life again? If you said yes to all of the questions above, we would love to invite you to give us all of your money while we rip you off on a daily basis. Oh, I, I ad-libbed that last part because, you know, I, I believe in telling the truth. All right, so what we've got here is a certified intuitive eating coach, which is a charlatan that tells you, do whatever your body feels like doing, just eat whatever you feel. And uh, hey, if you feel full, stop eating. Oh, it's just that easy. It's just that easy, you, you dumbass. <laughs> you should have been doing that the whole time. Hey, stupid, when you feel full, listen to your body's signals and just stop eating. You're welcome. Sincerely, the intuitive eating coaching staff, because that's all they do. Listen to your body signals. And uh, if you have a binge eating disorder, that means that uh, when you're full, listen to that signal. <laughs> Stupid, you haven't been listening hard enough this whole time. Open up your ears, dum dum. Either way, this chick is a freaking scammer, charlatan, obviously. Don't ever trust a thin, fat activist. Let's look at some more stuff. I cannot remove the music in the background, that's her music. Y'all, you know what you're doing when you post a before and after photo. Um, yeah, trying to share our progress maybe inspire others and also just keep it as a record for ourselves that's why we post the before and after photo at this point if you have been in the recovery community if you are in the recovery community you know better why why, why are you reprimanding me why did you push your glasses up and say if you've been in the recovery community you know better don't reprimand me I'll post all the goddamn before and after photos that I want. Who the hell are you to reprimand me? Is it that you know that that's what gets attention on this app? It's that that's what I felt like doing and I'm an adult, so go fuck yourself. You're gonna try to police what the hell I do because of your own insecurities? Mm, not a good look and it ain't working. Is it that you feel the need to justify your recovery experience and your weight gain by saying, look how skinny I was? You're promoting the dominant narrative that further harms this... Uh, the narrative, dude. Knock it off. ...whole community. Recovery is so much more than that. Like, babe. Like, babe. Okay, yeah, condescend to me. I'm not sure who the hell this person thinks they are, but they are very condescending. Like, babe. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to anybody like that, honestly. Stop. You know better. Dude, do not condescend down to me. Um, you know better. Like, the way she's talking right now, it makes me so angry. You do. You're just choosing to do something that people have said repeatedly is harmful. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Uh, I don't really give a crap about your criticism if I put my before and after photos online and you get hurt feelings about it. Is it worth it? Yeah. All I had to do was hear you cry about it for two seconds and try to condescend to me. And I just laughed at that. I just laughed. I would laugh right into your glasses if you came at me like, um, babe, you can do better than that. Yeah, the next time like some random moron comes up and tries to tell you what to do, like, um, you can't do that. Like, just just laugh in their face the way they deserve to be laughed at. All right, so here's the same chick. Um, you'll see that she has a common theme where she keeps talking about getting sent away to eating school. Like, she keeps trying to brag about it. I don't think that it ever happened. When the fat phobes tell me who didn't ask to just work out and eat healthy, but I got sent away to eating school for that. Okay, so you studied a little too well in eating school, huh? So you're implying that you had a restrictive ED to the point where you had to be sent away to eating school, okay? And then when people tell you that you need to eat healthy and lose weight today, you're like, don't tell me that. That's why they sent me off to eating school. So the only way to cure a restrictive ED 
is to become obese. There's no possible way for somebody that had a restrictive ED to develop a healthy relationship with food and eat healthily and also exercise. No, can't do that. You can either be morbidly obese or you can be skin and bones. There's no in between. And uh, it, wouldn't it make sense that somebody that had a restrictive ED learns how to eat healthily and stuff? Because they're just as unhealthy as somebody who's obese and they have just as messed up of a concept around food as somebody who is obese. So therefore, they need to develop a healthy relationship with food in the same exact way. And they also need to develop a healthy relationship with exercise, which means not overdoing it. All right, another clip from this chick. Friendly reminder that you do not need to lose weight to do anything that you want to do in life. Wow, why do you look so surprised after you made that statement? She makes a statement and then she makes a face like, <gasps> psych. This is her psych face. That's right. You don't need to lose weight to do anything in life. Go live your life. Go rock climbing, you crazy bastard. Go get on that pogo stick like you've always wanted. Go do that tightrope walking that you've had your eye on for the past couple of years. Don't let your obesity get in the way, you fool. This obesity thing is just a mental hurdle, all right? It's only holding you back as much as you let it mentally. Want to go on a vacation? Don't need to lose weight. Who the hell ever lost weight to go on a vacation? I respect the uh, the gusto of that. You're like, yeah, I want to go to Hawaii, but God, my ass is fat. I need to lose about 10 pounds first. Want to wear a bikini? Don't need to lose weight. Sure, if you're on a private beach. You don't need to lose weight to wear a bikini. Huh. Like, I can't let my balls just hang out in public, right? Like, three extra side boobs is just as gross as a man's balls. Is it not? I mean, are we so vain? Are we so vain, damn it? Wanna go on a date? Don't need to lose weight. Um, yes you do, babe. We have a date on Friday, which is uh, tomorrow. I expect you to lose like 20 pounds by then. You, you need to be looking fire by tomorrow, sweetie, or we're done. Done. The the done skis. You are enough and can start living your life. Ah, uh, no. You are enough and you can start living your life. Right now. Isn't that kind of messed up to tell a fat person that they are enough? I mean, don't they already know that? Don't you think that they know that they're more than enough? Eh, you're not really helping these people by insulting them like that. Hey, Joe. You are, uh, enough. It's enough, Joe. Okay? Enough. Oh, I guess you could, uh... <laughs> I guess you could interpret the phrase enough in multiple ways. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and please subscribe in the next one.